Whether you've done the work to build your company's connected workspace, or you're jumping into one for the first time, this video is for you. Here, we'll start exploring how to share and access knowledge in Notion. I'll note that sharing in Notion can be quite granular, but we have a full course on that that you can explore here. Let's start with a quick refresher on the sidebar. The Notion sidebar contains three sections, team spaces, shared, and private. Generally speaking, Things in team spaces should be for most team members to view. Pages that are created in a team space or moved to a team space inherit the permissions of that team space. Content in your shared section is usually shared with just a few people. When you invite someone to a private page using the share menu, it will show up here. Finally, private content is a space just for you. If your workspace is laid out according to this connecting knowledge course, you should be able to find knowledge in three ways. Skimming through top level pages and team spaces, best for high level information gathering like joining the company or onboarding into a new team. Searching for it, best for fact finding with more straightforward information like a company benefits page. Or asking Q&A, best for synthesizing information from multiple pages. As you're creating information in Notion, consider these same guidelines. Let's take a look at Acme Inc. to see how this comes together for someone building a product requirement doc. For a new Acme feature, sign on with SSO. If I were the engineer working on this project, I might start drafting the doc in my private section. Here, it's accessible only by me, and I can add whatever content I like. When it's in a good spot, I might choose to share it with just a few reviewers using the share menu. When I do this, it will move from my private section to the shared section of my workspace. Finally, once I've incorporated all of my reviewers' edits, I'll use the Move To menu to move this into the Docs database and instantly grant access to other stakeholders. Now this PRD is searchable. It will come up in Q&A. And when I relate it to objectives and projects, any linked views will populate with it as well for others to access directly. That should be enough to get you started. Check out the Scaling Your Team course to learn more about sharing and permissions, and keep exploring and discovering new ways to make the most of your connected workspace. Happy sharing!